Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I will be talking about Geocon for Sage. I will also demonstrate how to install Geocon for Sage, create a report, and pull raw accounting data using this application. First, let's talk about Geocon for Sage. Geocon for Sage is a great tool for accountants, business owners, and advisors to not only customize, but also automate report, upload data in bulk, consolidate data, build charts, and manipulate data using Google Sheets. Connecting Geocon for Sage to Google Sheets will allow you to connect unlimited companies, create or modify data queries, refresh data or reports for all companies with one click, save and share templates in cloud, and much, much more. So to start off with, let's install Geocon for Sage to our Google Sheets. So go under extensions, find ads on, and then select get ads on. In the search bar, you're going to go ahead and type GACon. Find GACon for Sage Cloud Accounting, select, and start to install. Go through all of the installing process. And then once installed, you'll be able to find your GACon for Sage under extensions. Now, Let's talk and demonstrate about how to customize and build your own report. So to generate your report, you're going to have to first log in to your Sage account. Once you have logged in, you're going to select custom accounting reports. We have various reports available to you, as you can see on the screen. Some of them include balance sheet, cash flow, cash summary, gender ledger, transaction list, etc. For the sake of today's custom report, we are going to select profit and loss. I'm going to go through and customize my report by selecting a dynamic date range, then I will com which I will have as this month. I will then compare it to our 12 previous periods, and then I will sort them as ascending. And you do have the option to assort them descending or ascending. And then finally, I will select my report layout, either traditional or historical. Then I will go through my change pool settings and I can go ahead and customize what I want my report to look like. And I'm going to go ahead and give my report a name. Then I'm going to go ahead and execute my report. Your report should be on your screen like you see on mine. So now that we have generated our report, let's discuss how to pull raw accounting data. Head on over again to extensions. Select Geocon for Sage Cloud Accounting and then select Get Data from Sage. You will have more than 50 tables available to you. As you can see here, we have a catalog item types, contact types, EU sales description, financial settings, etc. I'm going to go ahead and select sales invoices. And I will do so for November of this year, which you'll be able to do in your date range. Now I will select this check mark and which will select all of the attributes. However, for best results, go through and select whatever attributes are needed in your data. So here I'm going to select customer name. I'm going to select date. I'm going to select due date and then invoice line, which will select all of the line items. 
and then I'm also going to select invoice number. And then you have the options to further customize um, your accounting report through tabs two in the changeable settings, tabs three, which is select the field to filter by, and tabs four, which will order your results. So now I'm gonna go ahead and execute. Also, keep in mind that you can go ahead and refresh your data both manually and automatically. You can do that by going to extensions, finding Geocon for Sage Cloud Accounting, and you can click it manually by this refresh button and you can refresh data in current or all sheets, or you can also do so automatically by creating a workflow. This is how you download your raw data from Sage into Google Sheets and customize reports from cloud accounting to Google Sheets. In this next video, I will show you how to upload data in bulk. See you next time.